Sweeter Yesterday. Let's begin. Work of fiction, there are a few scenes of violence and grotesque imagery, as well as mature and dark themes not suited for those who are easily disturbed. Oh boy. Yes, this is the demo version. It's very pink. <laughs> Imaginary friends are truly an amazing concept. Oh, a fascinating concept. <laughs> Developing a personal relationship with someone that doesn't exist in reality. How do our minds even come up with something like that? This type of behavior has been considered hallucinatory or even psychotic. However, it is normal and common phenomenon for children to have. The growing mind of a child is an incredible and creative thing. They have the ability to conjure up an entire personality for a being that doesn't exist. But how do they come up with vivid characters in the first place? The answer is... They come from within us. The traits of our imaginary friends stem from our personalities in real life. Of course they do. It's only natural after all. In an ideal world where we can create our perfect friends, wouldn't we want them to be similar to us? All of our personality traits get reflected onto imaginary friends that we create. If you are particularly extroverted, then it is likely that your imaginary friends will be extroverted too. If you enjoy singing and dancing, then it is likely that you will share the same hobbies. But, how do we know who we truly are? Some traits that we don't know what they ha that we have can manifest in unexpected ways, because nobody is perfect, nobody's personality is flawless, everybody has good and bad traits. It's just a matter of... Ooh. Fascinating. Okay. Loletta. Loletta, can you hear me? Are you listening? A voice? Loletta? Loletta? Huh? Oh, good. You seem to be paying attention now. Oh, I'm going to continue asking you the questions. When did it first start? When did what first start? Were you not listening at all? It's fine, I'll repeat myself. When did your selfish and insincere behavior start? Fascinating. Letta, what are you talking about? You're still not willing to talk about it, I guess so. Let's move on then. Loletta, when did your vain and narcissistic behavior start then? What? <laughs> what? I don't know what you're talking about. Loletta, the only way this will help you is if you're honest with me. Do you not realize that I'm on your side? I'm sorry, I'm just really confused. Okay, just do your best to answer me. Loletta, you've always loved cooking, right? Ah, I can answer this question. I've loved being in the kitchen for as long as I can remember. Aw, I love cooking. I love seeing people smile when they eat my food. Hmm, what is it that you like about cooking? Aside from people eating your food, what is it about cooking itself that is that you actually enjoy? Well, I like the act of cooking itself. Playing with the food in my hands is a ton of fun. I see. Now for my final question. Loletta, how long has it been since... Oh? Since... The floor is so cold and hard. This place is... Z, enter space for confirm. Z, X to escape. X for menu. Shift to run. Oh god, I have to run. Items are not used automatically. Select an item from your inventory to use it. Please use headphones for the best experience. Okay, well at least the run is interesting. A telephone. Oh, did I save? I can't tell. <laughs> the hello freaks me out. Oh, I did save. Okay. Teddy bear. Can I? Teddy bear made of rich, smooth chocolate. No, All no right. Chocolate. Nothing, Heather. What are these? The Don't know. They look like cattails. Yeah, you also made of chocolate? Yes, you are. 
chocolate door. <laughs> exactly, a chocolate door. I guess we have no choice. Let's go inside. Wow, what a cute place. Everything seems to be made out of chocolate. Okay. An empty table made out of chocolate. Okay, I thought the sparkles were icons or like something. All right. A chocolate sculpture is blocking the passageway. Just eat it. There's a boat. Can I talk to the boat? No, okay. All right. There's a chocolatiery. Chocolatery. Chocolatery? I can't. A sparkling locked chest. Insert the first, second, and third digit of the password. Okay, we need a password to unlock that. Tray of delicious chocolate samples. Take a sample. Samples added to inventory. Cozy mugs of hot chocolate. Take the mugs. Hot chocolate was added to the inventory. A delectable array of chocolate desserts presented in the case. Okay. Passageway is locked. The chocolate sculpture is blocking the passageway. Um, let's... How do I get to my inventory? Oh, items. The hot chocolate? Warm and cozy mugs of hot chocolate. Yeah, can I can I use the hot chocolate? Okay, can I? Okay, I wonder. I wonder if I can put the items on here then, if it's an empty table. Nope. Can I talk to the bow? The bow doesn't want to talk. This is locked. This requires a three digit password. Item. No. Weird. I'm just kind of trying everything. Oh, place the samples on the table. Aha. Okay. So I'm doing it right. It, I'm just supposed to set these here. There we go. Unlocking noise was heard from somewhere. There we go. It is now unlocked. Chocolate roses? Rose made out of milk chocolate. Made out of dark chocolate. There's pink chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate. There's a number drawn on one of the petals. Three. Uh, okay. Okay, do I have to check all of them? Well, the white chocolate is three. We know that one. So, aren't these roses so pretty? doesn't look like there's any other numbers so and these are not clickable can't do anything with the bow the only number we have is three Interesting. Is there anywhere to go from here? I would honestly start eating all the food in here. Like, what? 
What kind of shenanigans? Alright. Hmm. Just checking. Why can't I go over there? Okay, for some reason it's blocked there? Weird. Oh, what the heck? This just one specific one is just blocked for some reason? Don't know what that's about. Do the teddy bears have anything to say? one. Aw, they're so yummy. She had one of the chocolates. Something inside the chocolate. A small gem fell out of the chocolate. Number engraved on the back. Eight. Okay, so we got an eight and a three. Okay, so it's just, you know, looking around, exploring, making sure you check everything. Oh, there's a sign underneath. Six Valentine's Day kisses. So six, so it was eight, three, six, right? I'm double checking this. Yep, eight, three, six. Eight, three, six. Chest opened, drawing inside the box. Our friends, Oh, they're very cute. There's something else inside the box. A lighter? Take the lighter. Added to the inventory. Even the lighter is drawn cutesy. Chocolate sculpture is blocking the passageway. I guess lighter the melt the sculpture. All right. Ran out of oil. This is such a cutesy game. It's very adorable. Adorably wrapped presents. Adorably wrapped presents. A chocolate seat. A chocolate table. And a chocolate seat. Still can't talk to the bows. Can I go in here? The door is locked. Okay. But I've got two rooms that I can look at here. These are just walls. What are the sparkles? A sign. Read the sign. Welcome chocolate to the chocolatery. Here we have four kinds of chocolate. Milk chocolate, loved by everyone, is a safe bet for anyone to like. Dark chocolate, sophisticated taste, is suited for a mature palate. White chocolate, sweet and healing. White chocolate is perfect for comforting people. Pink chocolate is a great fit if you want to try something new. Okay. Sniff, what's wrong? I, I got into a fight with my friend. I'm so sad, I don't know what to do. I wish I could cheer up somehow. Ooh, okay. So... To cheer them up, I think we have to give them a type of chocolate from this sign. Let's see. White chocolate is comforting people. So let's do white chocolate. We'll take a look and see. Jars of luscious chocolate spread. Pots with chocolate candles. Pots with chocolate candy. Jars of luscious chocolate spread. White chocolate. Take a piece. Here you go. Let's give you the white chocolate. Give chocolate. Oh, white chocolate always helps me calm down. This is perfect. Please take this as a thank you. A heart seat was added to the inventory. Oh, we got a little heart seat. We got a chair now. What we're gonna do with the chair, I, I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I just saw this spot. A delicate heart seat. No? This is... Maybe I have to do it from here? There we go. Put down the heart seat. The tables are all set. An unlocking noise is heard in the next room. This door? Nope, it's still locked. Okay. Passageway is unlocked. Okay, it must have been locked before. 
Oh? Painting of a man's silhouette. My ah. dear, it talked. Would you do me a favor? Well, what do I get out of it? Nothing, I'm afraid. Sorry to have bothered you, my dear. I'll do it. Stop asking me already. Anyways, the other painting's over there. Would like to... Oh, would you help me show her love? I want to go over there and show her myself, but I'm too far away. Please help my feelings reach her. That's so sweet. Of course, I'll do my best, Mr. Painting. Thank you, my dear. Aw, that's very cute. Elegant cup of coffee. It's still warm. Check the trash cans. It's empty. Empty, huh? Wasn't there a saying about that? Empty like my soul or something? If you know, you know. A painting of a woman's silhouette. If you if you know, you know. If you know, you know. A book titled Report Log 1 reads book. There's nothing special about me. I grew up as an ordinary child. I didn't suffer from hardships or dilemmas. I had a normal childhood. I was just like everyone else. So you see, when I created my imaginary friends, it wasn't because I was lonely. People liked me. I had friends. I didn't do it as a way to escape. I did it because I was creative. There's no special reason behind it, and that's what I keep telling him. But he keeps trying to psychoanalyze me and find some deeper meaning behind it. Well, guess what? I'm sorry, but there is no deeper meaning. I was a child. I had nothing else to do but be creative. It was so much fun to come up with my own friends. After all, I could decide every last detail about them. How they acted, what they liked, everything. So I made them all just like me. As I grew as a person, they grew with me and continued to be my perfect reflections. They were the best friends I ever had. Dolce, Leche, and the rest of the page is torn off. An unlocking noise is heard in the room. Oh, interesting. I wonder if Aletta is one of the imaginary friends. A bookshelf. None of these books have any pictures. <laughs> Reading isn't really for me. I prefer cute things. Yes, you do. <laughs> the giggles. Oh my god. The... <laughs> it's very, very cute. How to show her love from far away. White roses. Take one. Yeah, give her a white rose. Items. White rose. Give her the rose. Here you go, miss. This is for you. Oh, a white rose? How lovely. Thank you. <laughs> it's from the painting over there. He wanted me to help him- Aw. Wanted me to, me to help him express his feelings for you. He loves you very much. His feelings for me? I had no idea I felt this way. Please tell him that I love him too. To show my gratitude for helping us out, you can have this. Thank you again. Ooh. A small knife. That's a very cute knife. <laughs> Let me, let me go tell the painting that you love him. <laughs> Mr. Painting, I have news for you. Miss Painting says she loves you too. Isn't that great? Oh, really? I'm so glad. Thank you, my dear. She loves you too. The passageway is unlocked. I have a knife and I'm not afraid to use it, Mr. Teddy Bear. If you jump scare me, I swear to God. Teddy Bear is staring straight ahead at the wall. Oh, I don't like that. Um, well, there was an unlocking sound, so let me check. I'm going to go check to see if it's the other door first. Just, just to be sure. Just to be... Nope, it's locked. All right. All right, into the void we go. Wow, this is... Into the void we go. Okay, a letter. Read the letter. I wonder what I'll be like in ten years' time. I hope I stay the same. I like myself the way I am. Or maybe I might become even better than I am now. Who knows? One thing is for sure, though. I hope I only become a better person. I wouldn't ever want to lose myself. Uh-oh. Any more... Oh boy. 
We're heading back. <laughs> <laughs> the gasp scared me more than the blood. What happened in this room? It looks like someone was here. <laughs> looks like someone was here. Looks like someone was murdered here, to be specific. All right. Well, I have a knife. I wonder, do I open the presents? A dangerously cute knife. Still locked. Interesting. Interestante. Okay. Now, was there? Did I miss something in this room? It's all bloody. It's all bloody. Oh. The teddy bear is all bloody. Stomach is bulging with something inside. Oh no, we have to cut it open. <laughs> the knife is now dripping with blood. That's disgusting. There's a key in the teddy stomach. Take the key. Let's then add it to the inventory. Do you still have the knife at least? No, we have a chocolate key. That. That, okay. I forget what game it is, but there's a game that does that corpse party where it just squish squish Loletta. The room. I don't want to think about it. It's best to just avoid it. Ah yes, Loletta. Just avoid your trauma. It's okay. Just hide from it. Door is locked. Well, it's a chocolate door, so a chocolate key must use it. We're, we're back in the same room? That's... Not me. I'm a bunny now. She's finally back. Oh. A telephone. Let's save here. Let's see. An enchanting mirror. You see a familiar face staring back at you. So you go a bit oh. Right there. Was that it? Oh no, there is more. Oh. Loletta. We're older now. My vanity desk. It contains perfume, mascara, lipstick, and other assorted makeup. I keep it on to avoid the dark. My fluffy queen size bed. <laughs> queen sized, huh? It's fit for me. Oh, it's fitting for me. Nightstand mirror looking cute as always, Loletta. My telephone. It's a bit outdated these days, but it's fashionable. Oh, interesting. Interesting. My wardrobe. It's where I keep my clothes. I don't need to look inside right now. I don't like how it hesitated on clothes. My bookshelf. There's a book named The Theory of Colors. Read the book. Pink is a sign of hope. It is a positive color, inspiring warm and comforting feelings, a sense that everything will be okay. Yeah, look up pink dunk tanks. Yeah, everything's okay when you go into a pink dunk tank. Represents the sweetness and innocence of the child in all of us. Also reminds you of earlier childhood memories associated with nurturing and comfort. That is depressing. White roses that were given to me as a present. I still remember the day he gave me those. Matching teddy bears that my best friend gave me. I should go see her again soon. My handbag. Look inside. There's a menu inside. Truffle ice cream cap. Uh, okay. These are my ideas for the newest dreamy kitchen menu. Is there anything else I should add? Would you like to add to Loretta's menu? Type using the keyboard. Delete letters. Use capital letters. Oh, I bet there's something that we have to add here. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna put Borger. Borg. Now they don't fight each other at all. 
the abomination. Is Borger, <laughs> huh? I'll think about adding it to the menu. I hope the customers will like it. Oh my god, wait, does it show up on the menu now? No, it doesn't. Okay. Ah. Uh, hmm. We'll leave it as Borger for now. <laughs> I don't know if it needs to be something else, but we'll we'll see. I don't need to leave just yet. You don't? Huh? That's strange. Why is my bathroom door locked? I can't get through. Whatever. Girl, you should be a little bit more concerned. It's about time I go to work, isn't it? You work? My name is Luletta. I'm 22 years old. Although I'm still young, I managed to open up my own restaurant by myself. Ah! My restaurant is called Dreamy Kitchen, and it's my pride and joy. I love cooking. I love being able to pursue my passion every day when I head into work. The best feeling is seeing people smile when they eat my food. My job brings me happiness. I have very few problems, and life is amazing. That's right, my life is amazing. Of course. There's nothing sweeter than being in the moment today. Don't go yet. I wonder, is there anything interesting out here? Homemade marmalade. I can't wait for orange picking season again. Homemade jam. I make with her. I remember picking strawberries with her to make this jam. Such a fun day. Okay. It it doesn't look like there's anything here. Delicious pies and tarts. A muffin tray with a singular muffin left. A fluffy brioche. Wilting mm. flowers. I need to get new ones. It would be nice if there was a florist nearby. Cupboard with fine china. Doesn't appear to be anything of interest. So yeah, let's go into the kitchen. Let me get ready for the day. Did you need to ask me something? Oh? What do I think of Loletta? I love her, of course. Lala is the best friend I've ever had. I've known her for a long time now, but even as the years pass, we never grow apart. Time makes her bond stronger. I love her. I really, I really do. Sorry. Such a straightforward and simple question, yet here I am getting emotional. She just means so much to me, that's all. She's always been so kind to me. That's one of her best traits. She's sweet and friendly to everyone she meets, that's why people love her so much. And during times where I needed kindness, she was there for me, so of course I love her. <laughs> Hello everyone, thank you so much for playing the demo of Sweeter yesterday. Ah! Although it's quite short, it's just a preview of what's to come in the full game. Hope you look forward to it and will play it when the time comes. You all do want to meet my imaginary friends, right? And make sure to play the game when it comes. Thank you once again. I'll see you soon. That was very cute. Not nothing horror yet, but definitely a very cute game. 